Okay, hey guys. This is my first, like, actual prepping video, I believe. Um, I just thought of this the other day, and I really haven't found any videos talking about it. So, anyway. So, shit hits the fan. Do you got your keys? Keys. You got your car keys, whatever. These are my work keys. I'm a maintenance worker for your municipality. Don't necessarily need the keys to the buildings. I mean, that's nice. But I was thinking, on the other hand, just normal Joe Blow. I have to use heavy equipment often. And I thought about this because I went to use a piece of our equipment and the guys had pulled the keys and I didn't feel like driving all the way back to the building to get the keys. So I just didn't use it that day. But... Got online, I'm like, can't, key can't be that expensive. And the piece of equipment we're talking about was a cat dozer. This is a Caterpillar Master Key. Cost me $2 from China, I'm sure. eBay. This will go in any cat machine. This turns the pretty much turns the battery to the starter on. Doesn't actually start the machine, just turns the power on to the machine. On this particular machine, it was a newer one, so they also have an ignition key. The older ones don't. If you look real close here, if it'll focus. There it goes. Cat. Don't know how much those cost, probably another $2. <clears throat> I also made a key. A lot of our sewage stations have a metal lid on them that use a square hole. So I made a key. I just took a piece of... They call this key stock, actually. Get it at the parts store cheap. Drill a hole in it, put a big ring on it, put it in the hole, turn it. You can open lids. A lot of those lids also are for substation, underground power shutoffs, things like that. And then I have my generic bunch of keys for work. But if you have any experience... In operating equipment or you ever drove a tractor at your grandpa's or anything of that sort shit hits the fan there'll be a lot of large equipment just sitting around nobody's going to work so there you go and I'm sure <clears throat> if you got let's say a Kubota key that's probably going to be similar to the Kubota UTVs uh, Bobcat machinery they also make a UTV. The key fits that, probably. The equipment keys are pretty universal. Now, a lot of this newer equipment is going to a computerized board, which has a code you have to type in. So on those, you're screwed. But if it's anything, you know, seven, eight, nine years or older, you'd be good to go. And there's a lot of tractors and stuff sitting around. Just a thought. Thanks, guys. Stay safe. I guess be prepared. Later.